Hello everyone, this is Lizzie and I'm here with Lyra and Raquel and today we're going to be talking at Discovery of Witches Season 2. We're going to do a little preview video every week. This is our preview video for Episode 1. Um, this is basically a non-spoiler video. Uh, we're going to give you some impressions, we're not going to give you details um, because you don't want us to give you details and also because we're not allowed to give you details. Two very important reasons. Um, so just basic, did we like it, did we not like it, and what could you and should you be expecting going forward. Um, so I'll start with this. Um, what were your impressions of the episode, considering it's been over a year since we watched season one? Um, do you think the premiere lived up to the expectations we built up for a long time? And did you like it? Go live. That's so many questions at one time. Um, I did enjoy it. I do think it lived up to the hype. I think the major impression that I got from it, it had some levity that I didn't expect. Um, it was a little funny and it's like, I know, you know, everybody talks about, oh my God, Matthew's so hot, but Diana's <laughs> right. But Diana is right there. Ballad. Diana is right there, and yes, wear the headphones because you want to listen to Matthew speak, but also wear the headphones because you want to hear Diana speak, and she has some levity in the episode that's, that's nice. Everything's super, super serious because, you know, they traveled to the past, um, but it had some levity that I really enjoyed, um, and that I hope they keep, but I hope, but that's, yes. Okay, Raquel. Well, for me, I really, really loved the premiere. I surprised for a few things, uh, but I didn't like all I see. Um, well, I I think the character, of, um, the actor, Aaron, Aaron Point, you know, and they, they adapted the history very, very well for one episode. Well, in this episode, it's just the premiere, it's just the first episode, and it happens a lot of things. And it's, it has a lot of, well, a few changes from the book, but I really like the change. And, well, we, we are in the past, and everything is a little bit different from season final, you know, with Diana and Matthew travel in time. And well, <laughs> I, <laughs> you need to see uh, this episode with her phones or Matthew voice. And uh, Lyra say it and Lizzie say it because he has voice. <laughs> but it's not only one inflection of his voice. Uh, he has this uh, summer scenes with, um, with a different a different inflection in his voice. You're right. Or, yeah. Uh, different scenes, you know, if he, he's mad or he's afraid or he's um, lovely and like uh, uh, Other things, if he's a yeah, It's very uh, Misha Collins from Supernatural. Oh, I really like, I really like, well, I, I, I see. Um, yeah, you know, we, we see. Um, and Diana more more grow up, more mature for season one. And a Matthew a little different. We we know him, uh, but at the same time, is all this or Diana and Matthew we we know from season one, and we still love them. But they they change in this in this time because this time they need to change for for this. For this new history. That's okay. Um, um, for me, I really enjoyed the premiere. Um, unlike Raquel, Lyra and I have some level of, um, you know, restraints. So we watch the episodes slower. Um, so um, we could process them. Um, and I really enjoyed the premiere, especially taking time to process it. Um, I thought it was really well done and set up everything it needed to set up, but it didn't feel like a setup episode. Um, there was a lot going on, a lot of plot points that they hit. There were some changes, 
um, nothing that I really minded. Um, there were um, some really good uh, character moments um, and um, a scene in particular, and a couple of lines that fans are gonna go crazy for, especially the shippers. Um, but specifically a scene that you sort of see a little bit in the trailer and when it continues and I've seen people be like, oh my God, the things he says in the trailer. I was like, wait till you see what he sees just after that scene, the trailer cuts. You have no idea. Um, uh, so yes, I think it was a really good premiere. Um, it feels like we're so used to, especially after the year we had to consume all of entertainment at once. And I think this is going to be a good thing that we're going to consume this slowly and unlike Raquel had time to digest it um I think it's gonna be a good thing um and I think you're all gonna enjoy the premiere you're gonna enjoy the things you enjoyed in season one um Matthew and Diana but you also the world sort of expands a little bit and that's always helpful in a season two that's what you need to see um they bring in some characters some new characters that you're gonna have feelings about I don't know if they're positive or negative but you're gonna have feelings about the characters which is also a good thing um and my next question would be rated. And I'm sorry to put you on a spot, but from one to 10, how will you rate it, Raquel? One to 10. Yes. <laughs> rate the episode from one to 10. Go. Well, a nine, a solid nine. I, I really give a 10, but this, this episode is so close to 10, but nine. <laughs> Lyra. I don't know. It definitely wasn't perfect. Definitely was very set up y, but it was fun and it was what it needed to be. Um, I would give it a maybe a little, a, a solid eight. Yes, eight. I am actually with Lyra. I don't, I don't, I mean, it's not that it wasn't a good episode, but I'm gonna say my nine for later in the season, which I have every hope uh, we'll get to that nine. Um, I, I, I like eight. Um, we're gonna stick with eight. Eight is a good, a good number. Um, considering that um, we have seen a little bit of what comes later, all of us, Raquel much more than Lyra and me. Um, do you think the first episode sort of sets up what's coming effectively? And what was your favorite, without details, your favorite scene in the episode? Lyra, you again, go first. You can see like question marks just popping up all over my face because I'm like, what? Like an Animal Crossing with like, yeah. Yeah, and then the exclamation point. We were playing too much Animal Crossing. Um, <laughs> what was the question? My question was, does it set up well what you think is coming and what was your favorite scene? It sets up some stuff. Not all of it. I wish it set up a little bit more, but uh, each episode has its, its like it doesn't overwhelm you. Uh, that's what I was worried about. I were I was worried that they were gonna give me like like an episode with like all the information and shove it in my face. And no, they didn't do that. So that that was that was very welcome. And for favorite moment, um, there are you know for some people it would be that the intense moment. Um, that happens in the episode that is very, very Tumblr worthy. I hope people make gifts for it. Oh, Please people make will gifts make for gifts it. of a couple I, of I need them for my reviews, um, and for just general purposes, um, quality assurance purposes. But yes. there, like, again, there's a moment of levity in the episode that I really enjoyed that like pulled me back for a second because they're again they're in a very very serious situation um but it brought I, I feel like it brought some depth to diana but also matthew because we're so used to like everything being serious and deep dark voices oh and like God, keep talking in that version <laughs> of his voice for the rest of the video <laughs> <laughs> yeah they um they have like you remember like diana's excitement at learning in season one about like his past and like historical like th the way that she lit up and those small moments if you look back at season one they have that in the first episode and 
it, it, she's it a was little a nerd. Nice. Yeah, she's a nerd. We love her for it. She's a big old nerd. And then when she realizes something, she's like, "Are you kidding me? I'm a nerd." Yeah, <laughs> and she really admit, admits it. Yeah. Okay, Raquel. Well, I agree with I agree with Daira in about the first question. I think the first episode have a lot of things, but not a lot of things that happen after that. Uh, it present the the season very very well because you see all the frictions uh, parts of the character in character what conflicts they they will have or what was what will be the problem with them with when them better say um you you see all, all that in the in the first episode but you don't see anything <laughs> Uh, all you awaits you in the rest of the season, so it's it's really really a um, good thing because you you have uh, all the information you need in that moment, but not so much information that you you can over over it. So when you can understand, so the. Uh, the rim in this in this episode is really good. You it's it helps you, you know, you you can um, apart the, the look the your eyes uh, you can apart your eyes uh, of your screen and that's so so good. And for my favorite moment <laughs> We have a spoiler Raquel no spoilers promise <laughs> Well, uh, I I will go with the intense moment <laughs> that Lara I, was talking about. Surprise! Of <laughs> Do you know me? I love intense moment, and well, I I really go with this because I can't say <laughs> anything because the two <laughs> people here provide me. Stop me to say spoilers, but yes. uh, <laughs> if not, you'll be edited. There'll be yes. like a bleep that'll appear in front of your mouth. But you will, you will, you will, you will, you will love it because it's really, really intense. And Matthew is changing, you know. But at the same time, it's the same Matthew we know. He. He wants to protect Diana no matter what. But Diana is a woman, an independent woman, and it is not so easy to uh, for Matthew to get in their hands, you know. And that's all I can say. But yes, you that is to... all she can say. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna dis disagree with both of them on the scene, um, but I will say. Well, maybe not completely disagree with Lyra, but I will say, I think that the first episode is a, a good setup um, in general. Um, like Lyra said, and I think that's the most important thing. It doesn't feel overwhelming, even though it's setting up things. And some more things will be set up in the next few episodes um, that will culminate at, like, at the end of the season. It doesn't feel like too much, which is good. But it also leaves you thinking and worrying because when you do weekly, you have enough time to worry about all the things that could go wrong. Sometimes your mind even goes worse than what the show can do. Um, that That's first. And second, my favorite scene was not the intense scene. Um, but the more quiet um, scene that's more funny, um, also between Matthew and Diana, um, uh, a moment that they have that sort of, I, I think those quiet moments um, that are not all about, here are my emotions, here are my emotions, but that are about two characters spending time together. Like, we gotta remember that Matthew and Diana haven't really spent that much time together. I mean, how well do they know each other? So the little moments they spend together um, doing normal things or more normal for couples who are not like a vampire and a witch uh, things um, really help with the development of the couple as this epic thing. Um, and that's why those moments are, I'm always weak for those moments. And that was my favorite moment in, in this episode. Um, the more quiet moments 
between the two of them. Um, you've already seen a little bit of it in um, sales release from the episode. Um, so yes, we all have a favorite Matthew and Diana moment, uh, apparently, but we don't agree on the moment. Uh, the letter is like somewhere in the middle. Lyra likes to like be in the middle. Okay. Um, yes, good of faith. Um, and I think that's it. That was our preview for episode one of A Discovery of Witches season two. I'm Lucy, here with Lyra and Raquel, and we will see you next week for another video where we preview episode two. Bye. Bye.